Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my updated everyday makeup drawer video. If you haven't seen these before, every month I switch out my products in my everyday makeup drawer and I take you with me through my makeup collection to pick out the products and then we do our makeup together using some of the new products. So I hope you enjoy the video. We're gonna go ahead and get into it, but if you are new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so here is everything that I've had in my drawer for a little over a month. I'm a little bit late this month. I normally try to do these at the very beginning of the month, so I'm definitely due to switch out some of or most of these products because I'm I don't know I'm kind of getting to the point where I want something new in here so as always I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away and then we will pick out some new products I can't Okay, we're gonna pick out some new products now that I put everything away. So we'll start with primer. So I kept out my, or one of my Hollywood Flawless Filters from Charlotte Tilbury, but I kinda wanna leave out another primer. I either want this NYX Plump Right Back or maybe this Stila One Step Correct. Um, I think I'm going to do the NYX and let's see for a corrector this time let's do my newest one which is the Clinique Even Better so I'll go ahead and do that one and then for concealer I usually pick two at least two let's do I kind of want to use the Say Beauty Concealer a little bit more. I've used this a little bit, but I'm still kind of iffy on it. I don't know exactly how I feel about it yet, so I kind of want to put that in and honestly kind of want to use my NYX Bear With Me. I just love this one. I haven't used it that recently, so I think I might do those two and is that everything i might even do the bobby brown skin stick corrector or not corrector it's the concealer stick it's the concealer version of the corrector that i love so i might stick that in also okay so we have powders and face palettes in here so Let's see, for some reason I kind of want to put in the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. I don't usually wear this on its own, but sometimes I like it paired with concealer or something. I might stick that in. And then I've really been liking having a face palette in my everyday makeup drawer. I had the Hourglass one last time. So I'm kind of wanting to do the Nudegasm palette from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I also want to pick just a normal powder, maybe Bare Minerals. This is the Pressed Mineral Veil. Let's do that. Okay, then I have my SPFs and foundations in here. I can already tell you this one is definitely going in. The Patrick Ta 
make your skin. I, if you saw my review of this, you know how I feel about this. I cannot get enough of it. So that is definitely going in. And then I've also really been liking this Say Slip Tint just for every day. So I might stick that in also. And let's see. I think I might put in this Dr. Jar Sycopare cream. I've been seeing a bunch of people use this on TikTok and I haven't used mine in a while so I kind of want to put that in. Honestly kind of want to put my newer dermatology tinted moisturizer in there. I used uh, my other one. This is a new one. I just love this one so I think I will do that one. Next we have bronzers. I kind of want to do the Say Sun Melt. I've been really liking this one recently. I think I'll do that one and maybe a powder bronzer also. I kind of want to use my flawless, or not flawless filter, my, what is this called? Film Star Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't used this a ton lately. Well, I guess that's kind of similar to this face palette, so maybe not. Um, I must be in a Charlotte Tilbury mood. I kind of want to do the original airbrush bronzer, but I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't because I have this palette. Should we do L'Oreal Infallible maybe? Okay, I'll put that in. And my favorite thing, which is blush and highlight. But blush is definitely my favorite. I've been really liking the Rare Beauty blush in Encourage. It's a really, really neutral pink, but I feel like this color just kind of goes with everything and I've been reaching for this one a lot and really liking it. So I think I will do that and what else? Again, I'm being pulled to the Charlotte Tilbury. This is Pillow Talk. I kind of, I, I didn't forget about it, but I just haven't been using this as much and I used it for an Instagram video a few days ago and this is so pretty. So I think I might do those two and then I might do a highlighter too. I kind of want to do Champagne Pop. I haven't used this in a long time. It's very well loved as you can see. I kind of want to use that one. I haven't been using my highlighters a ton lately but I kind of want to have one just in case, so I think I will go with that one. I think I'm gonna put in this brow fix again from Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know why I'm just gravitating towards everything Charlotte Tilbury, but this is really old. I kinda wanna use it up. It's just a clear brow gel, so I think I might do that, but I think I'm also going to do the NYX brow glue. I can't get away from these glue type products for my brows. That's just what I've really been liking recently. And then, oops. I'm trying to use up this Dior brow styler and it is taking forever, but I think I might put that in. And then I usually keep a brow pen in too, just in case I want to add a little bit more volume to my brows. Um, eyeliner. Let's do the Era Perez Jojoba Eye Pencil in bronze. I'm trying not to use Charlotte Tilbury for that too. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to do the Tarte Surfer Curl. This is just a little one that I've been trying out and then I'm trying to go through this Maybelline Sky High in brown 
So I think I'll do that as well. I kind of want to put in this Tom Ford cream shadow. I think this one is discontinued, but I really like it. It's just a really light nude. It's in 03 Naked Eye. I really like that, so I think I might put that in just to have something a little different. And then I'm going to do a few of these nude sticks, magnetic eye pen pencils. This is just a really light cream one, and then this is just a really pretty chocolate brown. I think I might do those, and then actually maybe this one too. This is putty. It's just a really good neutral kind of beigey color. And should I do something sparkly maybe? This is new, but I kind of want to open this and maybe put it in. This is the Urban Decay. What is this? The Moon Dust. Yeah, sparkly eyeshadow in Space Cowboy. I wanted this for the longest time and I finally got it. Look how pretty it is. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to put that in too. Okay, for a lip or a bunch of lip products, I'm just going to choose a lot of them because I really don't know what I want to do. I did see one of my MAC lipsticks a day or two ago and I, okay, it's this one. It's cream in your coffee. It's a really pretty, kind of more of a mauve nude, a little bit darker than what I normally do, but I thought it would be good for going into fall. So I'm going to do that. My new favorite lip liner right now is Pat McGrath in Structure. So I think I'm going to do that. Also really liked this Maybelline Superstay Crayon. So it's a really thick product like this. So you can use it as liner or as lipstick, either one. But I really love this color. So I'm going to put that in. Okay, let's do Anywhere Caffeine. I feel like that's also a good kind of fallish lip liner. Ooh, I'm gonna do Anastasia Hazelnut too. I get really bored with lip liners, so I have to get a bunch of options. And let's see what else can we do. Ooh, I really wanna use my Persona Honey Gloss is just such a pretty, warm, kind of a brownie nude. I really like it. Mm. I'm going to do this L'Oreal Nude Haven. It's one of the Color Riche lipsticks, but this one is really pretty. I'm going to do that, and then I've really been enjoying my Dior lip oils. So I'm going to put that in and let's see, maybe one more, maybe a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Let's do this one. This Look how pretty this packaging is, but this is Nude Romance. It's a deeper nude. I have barely used this lipstick, but it's so, so pretty. I'm going to put that in also and I feel like maybe one more lip gloss because I tend to want to use the same glosses. Let's do Topaz from Maybelline, the lip gloss. And eyeshadow. So I haven't been wearing a ton of eyeshadow recently. So I don't know, I don't know. I'm not sure how much I will reach for eyeshadow right now, but I do want to put something in. Something I haven't used in a while. Maybe I'll put in one of my Tom Ford palettes. This one is so pretty. This is Honeymoon. Gosh, maybe I do want to put, I was going to say that's not really like an everyday palette, but maybe I do. 
kind of want to put that one in or let's see that was nude dip but I was thinking maybe this third one suspicion yeah these like warmer neutrals I think I'll do suspicion and I don't know I might do one other palette just in case Maybe this one, the Everyday Faves from Ulta Beauty. This is a really good mix of mattes and metallic shimmers. So I'll do that one too. Okay, so I got everything put back in here. I kind of set this up the same every time, but I have my skincare over here. Primer, foundation, blush, bronzer, powder, concealer, and corrector. I have brow products and lip products back there, and then I have all of my eye shadows and mascara and face palettes back there. As always, I'm going to do my makeup with you guys using some of these products, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of my eye cream before we get started. I'm almost out of this one. This is the Banana Bright that I use all the time. It's been a few hours since I did any skincare, so I like to put this on before I do any makeup. And then I'm gonna use the Dermatology Universal SPF today. I love this stuff. Every time I use one up, I immediately order another one because it's just so good. While I'm kind of waiting for that to set down, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of the NYX brow glue in my brows before I do anything else. I just find it works the best if I don't have any other product on my face. This is one of those products. I can't tell how I feel about it. Like, I, I don't dislike it, but I don't, I don't know. I don't love it. And I think the reason, the main reason I don't love it is the hold I get isn't as good as like the brow freeze or even the brow lift from e.l.f. Waxes almost or like the brow soaps just kind of hold them in place a little bit better. Okay, I think I am going to use a primer today. This is not one that I showed when I was picking out the makeup, but I've been playing around with this one. This was actually in my everyday drawer last month and I think I want to keep this in the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. I've been kind of playing around with this to see what it works with and what it doesn't work with. I really like the consistency of this primer. It's a bit of a thicker formula. It almost feels like a balm consistency. It kind of also reminds me of the Milk Hydro Grip. It almost has like that grippy feeling to it. Okay, for corrector, we're going to use the Clinique, even better in the shade Peach. This is my newest corrector that I've been testing out, and so far I do like it. It's a little less coverage, I would say, than like the Bobbi Brown Pot Concealer or the Charlotte Tilbury, um, not concealer, the Pot Correctors from Bobbi Brown and Charlotte Tilbury. Those are a little bit thicker, so they give a little bit more coverage. This Clinique one has a really, really thin formula, which is nice because it doesn't look heavy or cakey under your eyes, but sometimes, or the more creamy something is, the less coverage you get from it, but you still get, like you can see, the brightness 
I still get, but it's just not quite as thick of a product as some of my other correctors, but I do like it. I'm sorry, but I have to use the Patrick Ta Major Skin. I know I just did a video on this. Either the last video you saw or the video, actually it's the video before my last one. I did a review on this and if you watch that video, you know how I feel about this. I loved it immediately and I've been wearing it a ton since then and I still love it. I know this has kind of been, I feel like this is kind of a polarizing product. People are either loving it or not liking it at all. I am personally loving it. Um, I think it is so pretty and skin-like, but what I will say is it is definitely not a product you're going to get a whole lot of coverage from. It's meant to be more of like a light medium coverage. I do think it, it's probably going to look the best if it's applied that way because I have seen a bunch of people using like a ton of it all over their face and I feel like this is not or that's not how this product looks best just in my opinion it it's meant to be really lightweight and just like an everyday kind of a creamy skin tint almost but it's nice because you can build up the coverage some if you want to and I've had a few people ask me if what I thought about it for like oily skin. I feel like if you have oily skin, you might want to use some type of priming product underneath. Like, I don't know, cause I don't use a ton of primers typically, but like the e.l.f. putty primer or just something for it to kind of grab onto. Cause it is a cream product. So creams are beautiful in my opinion because they look like skin and they look like skin because they kind of move around. They move with your skin. They're not like a typical foundation that kind of sets and doesn't move. Creams definitely do move just a little bit. Like I've told a bunch of people, not everything is going to work for everybody, you know? Just for what I like and my preferences, this is like right up my alley. I mean, I don't know if it translates on camera, but this is just the most skin-like looking product. I mean, if you, I'll link my review video if you want to see me try it out for the first time, but it is just a beautiful product in my opinion. And it's, the reason I put it in this everyday drawer is because I know it is going to be like an everyday thing for me. And I'm also using the brush that they came out with. I really like it. It's double-ended, as you can see, so you get like a denser foundation-y side. Foundation-y, that's not a word. A denser side and then more of a powder side right here. I don't think you have to have the brush, though. I definitely have other brushes that work with this, too. I have not tried it with a sponge because I'm just not really a sponge kind of girl with applying foundation, but I bet you probably could. I just, I mean, I don't know if you can see, but it just looks, it looks like my skin, but just a more evened out version. For concealer, I'm going to use the NYX. Bear with me. I haven't used this yet with this Patrick Ta foundation. I only use like probably less than half a pump, but I still have some on the back of my hand. This is still, without a doubt, my favorite drugstore concealer by far. And I wear the shade Vanilla in this one. And I'm just blending this out with my Sigma FO3 brush. What I will say about the Patrick Ta foundation is because it's cream, I think you need to set it no matter what. If you have dry skin, if you have oily skin, definitely set it. But what I've been doing is after I apply it, apply my concealer, I've been taking some setting spray. So I'm going to use Fix Plus from MAC. And just going in and kind of setting it down before I go in with anything else. And then I still use a little bit of the powder that comes with it. But if you want this to last, I personally think you do need to set it just 
because it's a cream and like I was saying earlier, they look like skin because they do kind of move around with your skin. I'm gonna use this headband to kind of get my hair out of my face because it is not cooperating today. Okay, for bronzer, let's see here. I'm gonna do the Say Cream Bronzer. And I have mine in the shade Light Bronze. I really like this. It's similar to the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. I think this one might have just a little bit more pigment to it, but the texture and the way they apply is very similar. And I'm using this Fenty bronzer brush. I feel like I mentioned this in another video, but I can't remember. I think this was actually meant for powder bronzer, but I just started using it one day with cream bronzer and I love it. For cream bronzer, the shape is so perfect to get like right around your hairline and it's like just fluffy enough, but not too fluffy. I will link this below, but when I was kind of going through my brushes not that long ago, I found this one. I kind of forgot that I had gotten it, and I just randomly started using it for my cream bronzer, and I love it. I'm going to use Rare Beauty in Encourage for blush today. This color so funny it's it looks pink once you blend it out but when you first put it on I feel like it almost looks like mauve -y. but then once you blend it out it looks more pink but it is such a pretty blush I'm gonna add just a little bit of like one tap of pillow talk blush because it goes really well with encourage even though we don't really need <laughs> we don't really need a ton of blush okay and let's see do I want to do I guess I'll do just a little bit of highlight or actually let's set my face first so I'm gonna use the powder in the Patrick Ta major skin um, and I'm gonna use the powder end of the brush so what I will say about this powder is it's I would describe it as more of like a finishing powder I don't think it sets a whole whole lot I do think it really blurs like I do totally agree with that I think especially like in your t-zone area I really like how this powder applies like I don't know if you could see that on camera but it's a really pretty lightweight powder if you are super super oily I don't know that this would be enough to set this down you should probably just use whatever powder you typically use and also um, using the setting spray like I did earlier definitely helps I'm gonna take a little bit of the L'Oreal infallible bronzer in light medium and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this around my hairline over where we put that say bronzer just to add a little more warmth I'm gonna add just a little bit of champagne pop haven't used this in a very long time I'm just gonna use just a little bit. I used to be absolutely obsessed with this. I'm going to use the Dior Brow Styler and fill in my brows. I feel like I've been trying to use this <laughs> eyebrow pencil up forever and it just never, it just never runs out. Okay, I'm gonna go in with that Tom Ford shadow. So this is Naked Eye. I'm pretty sure this, well, actually, I think this product in general has been discontinued. I was going to say, I think this color 
is discontinued, but I think, I feel like he doesn't make these anymore. I could be wrong, but I love this color. It's like the perfect tone for my eyelids. It's just a hair darker than my skin tone, so it adds just like the smallest bit of color, and they are so creamy. I wish they would bring these back. I'm gonna use a little bit of my L'Oreal bronzer in the crease. I'm gonna use two, these two shades in the Tom Ford palette. This one's more pink, this one's more gold. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of both on my finger. And I'm gonna put that in center of my lid and then just kind of tap the excess just a little. I think instead of eyeliner I'm going to use the dark brown and this is uh, the Suspicion palette by the way if I didn't say that. And I'm just going to pack a little bit of this on the outer half of the lash line like just a little. I'm going to apply my Essence Lash Primer and we'll do Sky High from Maybelline. This one is in True Brown. Okay, I think for the lips I'm going to do this combo. So this is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in... I don't even see... The shade on here I will list it below I'll have to figure out what it is but I'm going to line my lips with this and this is actually very similar to my natural lip color and then I'm also gonna kind of fill in my lips just a little bit and then I'm gonna use Maybelline lifter gloss in topaz and one more thing, I'm going to use my setting spray again just to make sure everything is really locked in. Alright you guys, that is going to be it for my everyday makeup drawer for September. I hope you enjoyed this. I love switching out my products every month. These are probably one of my favorite videos that I film. I have a whole playlist of them that I can link in the description box and at the very end of the video. But thank you for watching. Make sure to thumbs up the video if you liked it. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time for another video. Remember, simply be you. Bye.